Hey everybody, uh, Mr. MathBlog here, and this lesson is going to let us divide by 4. So, uh, what strategies can we use in dividing by 4? I'll show us a few of them here. So, here's the first problem. David is stacking 12 quarters in 4 equal rows. How many quarters will be in each row? Okay, so what strategy can we use to solve this problem? Well, we're going to use uh, several strategies here. One of them is going to be we're going to make an array with tiles. We can make equal groups using circles and counters. We can use factors with repeated division, or we can use a related multiplication fact with the division of 12 divided by 4. So all of these are going to show us 12 divided by 4. So here's the first one. We're going to make an array. So look at the array, and we're going to continue this array by placing one tile in each of these four rows. So here's uh, four tiles right here. and So we're going to continue replacing one tile in each of the four rows until we have all 12 tiles drawn. And then we'll count the number of tiles that are in each row. Okay, so here's one, two, three, four right there. Okay, we're going to continue. There's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, now we have 12 quarters or 12 tiles. So there's a uh, how many uh, tiles are in each row? There are three tiles in each row, so there's going to be three quarters in each row right there, okay? All right, so we write this as 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Over here, this says 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Notice the 3 goes right on top of the 2. It's always after the last digit right there, okay? All right, so um, both of these read 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Easy enough. Okay, so let's make equal groups on this one. Okay, so we're going to place uh, one counter in each circle, and then we'll continue placing one counter at a time until all 12 counters are placed. So here's one counter in each circle. So we've done that. And then we'll continue placing one more counter. So there's four counters right there. Okay, one, two, three, four. So let's continue one at a time. Okay, so there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Okay, so there are how many counters in each group? Okay, well, each group has three counters in it. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3, and David has three quarters in each row. Okay, so we still get 3. So explain how making the array uh, to solve the problem is the same as making, or is not the same, or is just like uh, making uh, equal groups with circles. Okay, so I showed us both here. I just kind of shrunk up the pictures right here. So uh, we placed one at a time, whether it was tiles or counters. So we placed one at a time into the rows. I'll replace one of the time into the circles until all 12 of them were placed in there. And so that told us that each one had 3. Okay, so 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Another way is to use factors to find uh, 12 divided by 4. The factors of 4 are 2 and 2. Since 2 times 2 equals 4, then these two 2's are factors of this 4. 4 would be the product right there. Okay, so what we can do is to divide by 4, we use the factors. So 12 divided by 4, we'll call it equals n. We'll talk about that in just a second, you guys. So first divide uh, by 2. So we'll take 12 divided by 2, and that's going to give us 6. And then we take this number and divide it by 2 again. So 6 divided by 2 equals 3. So since uh, 2 times 2 equals 4, then if we divide by 2 and divide by 2, then that would be the same as... Uh, 12 divided by 4, okay? So we divided by 2 two times, okay? So that means 12 divided by 4 equals this 3 after we divided it by 2 twice. Okay, so let's use a related multiplication fact. Okay, so 12 divided by 4 equals n, and we'll say 4 times n equals 12. And that just says uh, what number completes the, you know, 4 times what number equals 12. Well, most of us by now, at least we know it's 3. So 4 times 3 equals 12. So 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Okay, and here again, 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Notice the 3 is lined up right on top of that 2 right there. All right, and then that letter, which is called a symbol, you guys, that symbol like N that we used over here is uh, just stands for some unknown number. And they used N because N starts with, or number starts with the letter N. You'll find in algebra we start using letters like X and Y and stuff like that, okay? So let's try this, you guys. Use factors of 4 to find 16 divided by 4, okay? So remember, 4 times, or 2 times 2 equals 4, so the factors of 4 are 2 and 2. So let's first divide uh, 16 by 2, and whatever that answer is right there, then we'll put it right there and divide it by 2 again. Okay, and that'll give us 16 divided by 4. 
Okay, 16 divided by 2 is 8. So then we put the 8 right there, and then 8 divided by 2 is 4. So that means 16 divided by 4 is 4 right there. Okay, you guys, I hope those, these are helping. Take care.